have it, the, uh, the uh, future Canadian Olympic team. Olivier, how did you use biofeedback in the races today? <clears throat> I uh, usually always use uh, my breathing and my focus, try to get in the zone. <clears throat> when I get in the heat box, I, uh, when I'm finished my warm up, take my earphone off and I put myself in a silent situation, focus on my breathing. That's my usual routine. Biofeedback is, uh, is uh, taking the physiology and the, and the uh, EEG and putting it together and showing it to the athletes what's happening in real time. And so the thought technology equipment that we're using, uh, we take it a step at a time. In our program, we start with muscle tension, respiration, heart rate, skin conductance, and we put all that together and we train each one of those. And then at the end, the athlete understands which modality that they're using and, and can actually control that. And the long-term effect of that is increased confidence. The more the athletes relax, then the, the likelihood of peak performance is to occur. And what we want is uh, if we're looking at his threshold of performance, if he's continually on the podium, then we know that we're achieving our goal. We track and monitor the athletes from the first session right through the fifth and sixth and seventh session. And what we see is an improvement of their ability to exhibit alpha, beta one, beta two, and their theta. The more that they understand how to do that with eyes closed, and getting into what we call a no mind, the, the more likely they're relaxed mentally. And this translates into relaxed physically as well, because muscle tension you know, on a physical level, this is what will kill performance. injured last year, missed the whole year, so I had to work on something else than uh, only the physical part because I was in a cast, so we started the mind uh, part. I do it all together, like I, I'm going to do the breathing, same time so you don't think about anything, and uh, trying to feel like I'm warm because uh, that's what uh, I've learned with it, right, to get the body temperature warmer. But it depends when I'm going to do it. On the ice, if it's short, it's just the breathing because I have to be looking around, I'm still doing something. No emotion now on the ice. That's what we're that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> is to improve uh, our sprinters' ability to get off the line. In the 500 meter short track speed skating, it's very important to get to the first block and the first turn quickly. Two hundredths of a second in the Olympic Games could make the difference between first and third. And if we can improve in milliseconds the start of our sprinters and get to the first block first, the likelihood that they can hold that position is much higher. I'm more confident, I'm, I'm less stressed before I get to the line. I'm using my breathing to get in the zone in the li like the last couple of minutes before stepping on the line. I'm doing less mistake, I'm more focused and uh, like I'm, I have less disqualification, less slip, less fall and that's gonna bring me, uh, that brought me to have a like, better result. Uh, so the reaction time equipment developed by uh, Thought Technology is going to help us uh, with the sprints, the, uh, the biofeedback and the EEG training. It's going to help the athletes uh, with confidence. Stress and pressure. Stress and pressure. We want a program that's going to help our athletes able to perform at their best and on demand in Vancouver 2010 and stress and pressure is what can kill that performance. 
So if we give them the tools to deal with that, we're more likely to see personal best from each athlete. I can see there's no more. Yeah,